Oh yeah, it feels good to float. All the worries are gone. Get the mountains coming out. Should grab some uh, lunch to go. My interpretation of We're going to hit rocks for sure. Yeah, and that seems like a super nice kind of glass guy. I like it. it it's also going to depend on the river too, you know, like if we see it and if it's, I haven't even seen the river yet, so if there is flow, then you'd probably be fine. Okay. So what I imagine is that it's going to be low, kind of like lower areas into like thin kind of rapids down to other lower areas. Kind of scraping. Yeah, we're going to have to uh, ditch the black kayak. Dude, you weren't kidding. I can type in that. See what you got here, RJ? It's called a rookie move. There we go. Got the tail all rolled up in the, oh. in the cam here. And the snowflakes are too good. We have some thick snowflakes, and I want to take a photo of the expedition machine. Put it down at the cabin down there. Oh, we can put in here? Not like down on that, not on the entry. We can offload down here and then drag them down kind of like next to the bridge to put in. We're going to we're going to canoe this river. 30 miles. Should be 30 miles. First time I've done a winter paddle on a river, so and we always see it in the summer. But I don't know, I kinda wanna see it in the winter. It's a uh, few people see it. I mean a few people see the park or on the park from the water perspective. So we're in uh Polebridge, Montana, which is about, I think we're only like 12 miles from the Canadian border. And we are going to float down towards the Flathead Valley on the river uh, in the winter. Lots of ice on it. You can see out here it's a little sketchy, but uh, we kind of pre-scouted it and uh, looks good. So we're gonna run it. We're with Alex, my cousin James Bird, RJ Bruni. Let's see if we can not die. It's gonna be fun. So we're here. This is a pole bridge up here is the border, Canada. It's about 12 miles away. And we're gonna float all the way down this, probably camp somewhere in here. Float all the way here to Glacier Rim, I think, or Glacier Rim's here, actually. And this is the Glacier National Park. This is Flathead National Forest. Oh, I gotta show Andrew the map. I'm Cousins to Isaac, but we grew up in this area. And uh, yeah, stoked to show these guys the North Fork. <laughs> Usually you see this amazing mountain range of Glacier National Park, but we get the awesome snow instead. So we'll take it. I'm ready to go. Feeling warm in this thing. Yeah? Yep. Cool. I think I'm maybe two rips to get in it, you know? Let's say we get tipped. You're coming down to this stuff. <clears throat> you want to swim rivers like this, kind of feet first if you can't uh -huh. see push off stuff with your feet. Okay. Always swim away from logs. Yeah. Never try to climb up on a log or anything. Um, so you're just trying to pretty much... So you swim your feet first. If you're like coming through some of these rapids, you can't see. 
start to see something like that, rivers turning away from ice undercut, then get down and swim like a swimmer. A log jam. I think we could have made it. Yeah, we could jump over it. A couple of really deep strokes right before there. Good deep one. Our uh, second row block is still not a problem, but this one's a bit bigger. definitely don't want to go into that. You'd go into it and you'd hit it, but then you'd turn sideways. Yep. And a raft, you could weight the downstream side and keep your edge up from getting caught. But a canoe would tip like this. All your stuff would go into it. Most of our ship would probably go under it. Hopefully. But probably get caught on something under there. And yeah, then you would probably start it. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna let go of you then. Yeah. You got you got no rope? No, I got it. Okay. Yeah. You wanna go this way or straight? Go this way. Okay. There's no more river. <laughs> What's going on? The river's uh disappeared into the or, ice. James. This is definitely quality ice right here compared to this. Or we just go like this, we just skirt that, and we just. I can hear the, I can hear yeah, the ice underneath. I can see it coming out. Sweet. Let's cross here and stay on right or right, I guess. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, I don't think there's much of a bloom over there either. You're on ice the whole time. So, I mean, it's like. Damn if you do. And if you don't. It might, be, yeah. it might be wider down there than we think it is once you get over there with less snow. Sweet. Yeah, let's just probably cross here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Grab the rope and hop up next to RJ. Yeah. I got the boat. You got the boat. No, this is the same here. <laughs> uh, got a little too antsy crossing the river and forgot to paddle. Down a river without a paddle. Frozen river. <laughs> Here we go. Nice! Good job, Sermon. <laughs> Man! Freaking, that was dicey. Yeah. But I ate it on the entrance. I was like, it's totally ice free the whole way down. No way. <laughs> How are we looking down there? Dude, good. No, at least for another 100 feet. <laughs> <laughs> How many batteries did you bring, gentlemen? Two. But I have some half-assed ones that are like losing a charge sort of deal, so I have yeah. two more though. Okay. So you could technically call it maybe two minutes. Okay. Save some batteries for the, uh, for the campfire. Okay. Yeah. Everything, everything's saving right now. It's definitely sprinkling. Yeah, so out there in the thing, we're not going to have any tarp either. Stroll. But you can take a photo there. For the campfire. And we can start a fire there. Oh man, uh, it was still a good day, but a lot of snow, a lot of uh, frozen river. Hopefully tomorrow it uh, opens up and melts. We can float, not hike. <laughs> We're wet from hiking. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> How'd you sleep? I was a bit sideways. <laughs> Dude, I am I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I was sliding on you, you were sliding on me. I don't play well. 
That's all right. <laughs> it was it was warm. Yeah. It's comfy. That's two cups. I'm really hoping for some water. <laughs> hoping that uh, we get to paddle a little bit, but either way, the outcome's gonna be good. So I'm excited. Excited for my breakfast skillet. Never had one. It is good. Just kind of nice. They're so frozen that I can't get my foot in them, so. <laughs> Luckily they go on the outside of my dry suit, so they can handle a little water. <laughs> We got better weather. Right around the corner, it's gonna open up. <laughs> no more ice. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna crush it. All right, day two. It's looking good. We finally found some water on this canoe trip. <laughs> Got a bit of a situation out there. As I tore his dry suit a little bit. <laughs> yep. So now we're gonna do a professional repair. You know. There you go. Keep it tight. This is my uh, invention, the mini dry bag. So I like to keep my lenses when I'm on the water in this, just at the base of the canoe, so I can switch easily. Obviously, you just don't have to tip the canoe. <laughs> oh man, just being out, uh, floating on the river through the mountains, dude. Just being out here is my favorite thing. Especially in the winter, man. I've been out here in the summer, but never in the winter, so this is sick. Made it. Made it. Sun to make a fire. Get some warmth. It was very different. Those day one where uh, this thing, it was raining so hard on day one, and this thing would just keep getting water on it. So most of the photos from day one will be a bit muddy. You know, muddy looking a bit faded because there's water drops here that I couldn't wipe because everything was wet, including me. And then day two, today. Pretty easy. Had my mighty little trick here. It's worked. And uh, I just had the camera out of the casing. There it is. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was easier today. But you know, I wish I could have captured the pretty rough conditions. We finished one day ahead of time. So we're just waiting for a pickup. Andrea, Andrea's picking us up. 